Hi there, Minecrafters. This is Sluganator here. About a year ago, I made this flush slime launcher where you'd press a button and a slime block would be revealed from the floor and launch you up. <laughs> uh, now, actually, just yesterday, I got a user by the name of Gar Inc. commenting on that video saying that they had built a 2x2 version of my uh, slime launcher. And uh, I sort of got to see their process. They left me a lot of cool notes and tips for building my own. So I decided to <laughs> try the challenge myself here after a whole year. Uh, here is my design of the 2x2 flush slime block floor thingy. <laughs> you can see it works pretty much the exact same. Uh, this one does not have the automatic closing sequence. We'll get to that in a second. But uh, yeah, I um, <laughs> I had a lot of fun designing this today. Uh, it's about... Let's see, where, where should I start with this? <laughs> um, I'll, I guess I'll give you a side view. The idea is, yeah, the slime block gets unearthed, the blocks get moved out from the side, and then it gets pushed up. And... Then the blocks get pushed back on top and it goes up. I can also play that in slow motion, so... That's kind of what it looks like. Hopefully that gave you a little bit better of an idea for it. Uh, of course, there is one button on the top of the whole thing. <laughs> Looks like I kind of messed it up now, now that I broke it, but uh, yeah, the, the whole thing takes up a similar footprint to the old one. It's just one button on top and then uh, everything else is underneath the ground. Now, of course, this one does not have the fancy feature of automatically closing. So I did also uh, design that as well. So you can see to add the feature, you just need to add one sliver on the side of the machine. This is the same thing. Uh, it doesn't add any depth to it or anything like that, just one block there. Uh, this is what the circuit looks like. Just a little repeater thing to feed the signal back into it. And I'll show you what it looks like. It just automatically closes. <laughs> so, uh, I think that looks pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, basically all that this little circuit does is it sends the redstone power back into the machine a second time so it can be activated twice. Uh, of course, uh, Gar Incorporated also gave me the size footprint of their design. It's actually quite similar to mine. I mean, they're basically the same in size, just two blocks different, but I don't really think that that matters all too much in a design. So Gar Incorporated, I think you did really good and thank you so, so much for commenting on my video. <laughs> really appreciate it. Uh, if you ever have any more ideas for uh, improving my designs or anything like that, feel free to experiment around. <laughs> and on that note, I would like to show you how to build this thing. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's actually a symmetrical design, which makes it really nice to build. Uh, pretty much, you just want each side to look like this. Two pistons, these observers are facing upwards, like so, and these two observers are facing sideways. And in this block here, there is a note block with a block like this. That's the only asymmetrical part of this. It's mostly just two slices here. <laughs> so I hope that gives you a good idea of how to build it. These obsidian blocks are important. <laughs> um, and then for the button, you want to just go one block sideways from your pistons, one block up, and you want to have it going into a block with a piston with an observer facing this way so that it goes sideways into it. Uh, and then, <laughs> just trying to think of how to, oh yeah, right. Then you want to uh, actually have two blocks of obsidian on here that lead to another piston like so, and the same one, I hope this is easy to follow, <laughs> same one facing that way, right? So you've got your piston here, block, two blocks, 
other piston. <laughs> This makes no sense. I'm not very good with tutorials, but the final two blocks you need to add are a note block down here below the obsidian and a sticky piston. So this should be the basic design. Uh, I will make a note here. It does matter which block the sticky piston is on. So you can build it uh, either one. You can build it here or you can build it here. But beware, if you want to add the extra functionality of this little circuit here, you're going to want your piston to actually be on this side. So you're going to want it to be further away from the button. Um, I'll show you how to build that extra circuit in just a second, but let me just first show you that it actually works. <laughs> uh-huh, right, and it closed. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, now to build the extra circuit, <laughs> uh, I'm kind of running out of space here. Uh, okay, here, I'll, I'll just show you how. So this is pretty much what you just built. Uh, and then you're just going to want to go down from the button and place a block, redstone, two repeaters parallel to this redstone line. These are both four ticks and they are going this direction, right? Into a block with redstone down below and another block another block here repeater and then this is kind of tricky this is a actually a, um, the reason that this note block has to be here it's actually a piston that goes underneath so <laughs> I hope I'm showing this adequately this is more for redstoners who want to recreate this so it's not a full-on tutorial but basically beneath this other piece of obsidian is an observer facing up into it with a C piston behind <laughs> and here's just what that circuit looks like all by itself so you can get the idea of it this repeater is one tick both of those are four <laughs> okay that was that was quite the ramble wasn't it <laughs> uh, so I, I hope that helped out anyone who wanted to recreate this for themselves uh, that Gar Inc. person was talking about using it as an elytra pad, which is kind of cool. So yeah, <laughs> I just wanted this to be kind of a short video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much to Gar Inc. for submitting your comments and telling me about your design. Really appreciate it. <laughs> so cool. I, I thought that was so cool. What a great way to arrive home and see those nice comments on my video. So. Again, big thanks, and hope to catch you in the next one. This has been Sloganator. Bye-bye.